The top 10 supplements I would recommend to beginners. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. From all the research I've done, from all the experiences that I have, these are the top 10 supplements that I would recommend to somebody starting out. They're not going to be the most extreme. This is kind of trying to attack supplements from all angles. I'm not gonna put 10 supplements that are awakening on this list. I'm not gonna put 10 supplements that make you sleepy on this list. I'm trying to give you guys a really balanced 10 supplements, full spectrum for whatever you need supplements for. So starting off at number 10, I could go with lemon balm, passion flower, or chamomile extract to be honest guys I like all three of these I have all three of them in bulk sometimes I take them solo sometimes I mix them all three have blown me away for how effective they are how good they make me feel and how relaxed slash drowsy they make me as well I'm really impressed with all three compounds I could go either way on all of them so number nine is ginger slash turmeric again these are both so so good there's times where I'd probably pick turmeric there's times where I'd probably pick ginger I think turmeric is in the same family as ginger. They're both very spicy. I would probably edge ginger just because I find that it has more of a stomach cleansing effect, which I really like, but they're both very good. Both just loaded with health benefits. Pretty much everybody's heard of ginger and almost everybody's heard of turmeric if you go into supplements. So they're very well known. They're very effective and I like both of them. All right, guys, number eight, tyrosine slash N-acetyl L-tyrosine. So I've always liked tyrosine ever since I was in my early 20s. It's one of the best ingredients to put in any pre-workout, any focus blend, any nootropic blend. Tyrosine is all natural and it converts into a few things, eventually dopamine. So the more tyrosine you take, the more dopamine you will end up with because it ends up turning into dopamine. Tyrosine is found in almost all proteins. In acetyl tyrosine is stronger. It is probably a little more stimulating. I would say that the original tyrosine is more smooth. But if you're somebody who's looking for some natural energy production, super safe, really effective, very pleasant, enjoyable. Can't say enough good things about tyrosine and in acetyl tyrosine. One of the only mood boosting supplements I put on this list. All right, guys, number six, lion's mane slash cordyceps mushroom. You could maybe toss reishi in there as well, but being that I'm a guy, I typically research supplements and then testosterone to see if there's any studies conducted on how the supplement affected hormones. And you would be surprised. Rarely will it not do anything to hormones. Most of the time, it will either raise or increase hormones. I think lion's mane doesn't do anything to hormones. Cordyceps increases testosterone in men, and red reishi, I think, decreases it in men. I've looked that up multiple times, so red reishi is the more relaxing one here. Cordyceps is the more energizing one here, the athletic one. And lion's mane is super popular because it's supposed to help regrow parts of the brain, which I think at one point people didn't even think was possible. And I think cordyceps also helps your lungs. So overall, it's an athletic mushroom. I like both of them. Lion's mane, cordyceps. All right, guys, number five, phenyl paracetam. Now, of all the supplements on this list, this one is the one that makes me feel the best. Yeah, <laughs> boy, help me. <laughs> I don't really have too many supplements on this list geared towards just feeling good, but this supplement has absolutely blown me away. Not only do I enjoy the effects, but I feel more balanced the more that I take it. On top of that, it gives you energy, motivation, you feel good. Almost anything else that stimulates you eventually will take your energy. You know, if you're talking about DMHA, DMAA, modafinil, caffeine, if you end up taking any of those for a long time or a high dose, eventually you'll be tired, your body will be zapped. Phenylparacetam actually rejuvenates you and makes you feel good. It's by far my favorite nootropic, and to me, it feels really balanced. I have nothing bad to say about it. Phenylparacetam, number five. All right, guys, number four. From the research I've done and the little experience I have, it's blown me away, and that is NAC, N-acetyl-L-cysteine. Anytime that there's a liver support blend, they always include NAC. It's one of the most notorious supplements to help with liver health up there with milk thistle. And it also, I think, is supposed to increase testosterone in men. It's supposed to like clear up your lungs of any kind of mucus. If you overdose on Tylenol or overdose on anything that's going to hurt your liver and you go to the hospital, they literally give you NAC. I think it also improves your mood naturally as well. This is just a great compound overall. It turns into glutathione, which is, I think, one of the best antioxidants in the body. So really nothing bad to say about it. If someone's having some liver issues, it's one of the first compounds that comes to 
mind NAC number four. All right guys, number three, I just did a video on this supplement, magnesium. Most people have heard of magnesium. I had heard magnesium my whole life, but I didn't understand just how powerful and how great this supplement is. When you take a large dose of magnesium, it has a relaxing effect. I take it at nighttime and to help me calm down. It has a very potent relaxing feel. People would actually be surprised how relaxed it makes you and how sleepy it makes you. I'm somebody who actually legitimately understands real panic and real anxiety. And when I get to that point, I mean, little to nothing will calm me down. I need something really strong to zap me out of that mindset. Very few things will do it. I wouldn't really think almost any natural supplement would, but I would not be surprised at all if I took a large dose of mag and most, if not all the anxiety went away and I was able to go to sleep like in 30 minutes. So it also helps with constipation as well. If you're somebody who does not want that effect, there is kinds of magnesium that don't have the constipation effect or it's very mild. And then you have other kinds of magnesium that is stronger on the constipation effect if you want that. So if you want the laxative effect, I would go with magnesium citrate. And if you want magnesium for overall health, brain health, things like that, I would go with magnesium glycinate. If you have any sort of stress or anxiety, if you know anybody who has any stress or anxiety, definitely pick this up. And if you run out of magnesium in your body, I think your heart will stop as well, if that's not enough reason to go check it out. So, all right guys, number two, and that is Zeolite. Zeolite is a supplement that's absolutely blown me away. I think it's supposed to completely heal your guts. I think it brings your body to like the perfect pH. Almost all the food we eat is not alkaline. It's very acidic. It's not very good for your body. There's so many things that can throw off the alkalinity of your body. So to have a supplement to take where it's just going to put you in perfect alkaline, I, I don't know of very many supplements that do that. On top of that, zeolite is kind of like a cage with a magnet in the middle. The magnet in the middle sucks up toxins, heavy metals, I think mold and other things as well. Almost everything toxic gets absorbed into this cage and you end up peeing the cage out. I've taken a lot of supplements that help overall health in general. And this is one of those ones that I can actually visibly see and feel it working. One of the first couple of times I take it, I would literally wake up and I felt lighter. Like I felt like there was something on my back that got removed. When I take zeolite, my skin feels softer than I've ever felt it in my life. If you think you have a buildup of toxicity in your body, you don't even know what it is. I would highly recommend zeolite. Sometimes people say that it even sucks up plastics, but I haven't done enough research into that. It does so many things, balances the pH of your body, makes your skin feel super soft. I take a really big dose, I take grams of it, but it makes your skin feel super soft. It's almost unavoidable these toxins and heavy metals. So it's nice to take something to combat that. They've also dropped zeolite onto areas that were hit with atomic bombs because there's lots of radiation there still. And it actually is supposed to combat radiation poisoning and things like that. You can really feel the effects of zeolite number two. All right, guys, number one, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, this is my favorite supplement of all time. Real quick before I get into number one, my favorite three supplements of all time are zeolite, ormus, and this supplement, colostrum. I did not include ormus into this list only because it's more of a far out supplement. I feel like zeolite and colostrum is much more consistent. Ormus can be made lots of different ways. I think it varies batch to batch, maker to maker. It's uh, very expensive and it has all these weird far out claims. So I didn't want to include ormus in this list, but if you wanted to know, ormus is in my top three as well. So colostrum, my favorite supplement of all time. The only thing bad I can say about this supplement is if you're vegan, it's not a vegan supplement. Other than that, to be honest, it's perfect. At one point I reviewed colostrum and I want to do some research and showcase all the things that colostrum can do and all the benefits that it has in one video. I went to like seven or eight websites and each website had a whole new list of things that are in colostrum. One of the claims I heard is that colostrum contains every nutrient needed by the body period, which is a crazy bold claim. If you think about it, colostrum is first milking of any mammal. And that's why they say, that it's good for women to breastfeed instead of going straight to formula because they have actual colostrum. And I've done research and apparently colostrum does have every nutrient that you need. And so by giving it to the baby, it's almost kind of like programs on a computer. It, it like sets him up with everything he needs permanently. On top of it having just unbelievable claims and it containing just 
unlistable ingredients because they're so good. I get amazing anti-aging benefits from colostrum. Certain supplements feel like they kind of clean out my body, like zeolite's one of them. Zeolite's kind of like something to clean out all the bad things in the body. Colostrum feels like I'm literally planting healthier seeds in my skin and my skin is growing back healthier. What did he say? <laughs> I know it's a weird analogy, but it's the only thing that not only clears up my face, makes me look good, but I actually feel like I look younger than when I don't take it. Lots of supplements clear up my face. Lots of supplements are pretty good for anti-aging, but colostrum is the number one. If my face is looking destroyed or I'm seeing a lot of wrinkles, if I'm looking older, the number one thing I'll go to is colostrum. I haven't done it too much recently, but you can also make a colostrum mask. I'm not into masks because I'm like a typical traditional guy. I just don't do that. But the times that I have done a colostrum mask, it is phenomenal. It's amazing. Um, it clears up your skin, makes your skin kind of glow. It's one of the only supplements I've come across that makes my skin actually glow. And again, I found tons of supplements that help with anti-aging, help clear up my face, but nothing clears up my face as good as colostrum. Is there a supplement that you think I missed that I should put on this list? I'd be very interested to see. What are your top three most impressive supplements that you've ever taken? I'd be very interested to see as well. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.